I'm Diane Macedo. We have breaking news. Hunter Biden is now responding after being found guilty on all counts in his felony gun trial. The jury determined the president's son knowingly lied about his drug use to a federally licensed gun dealer in 2018 and also lied on the application to buy that gun, then illegally possessed the gun for 11 days. This is the first time ever that a sitting president's child has faced criminal charges. And now the first time ever a sitting president's son has been convicted of criminal charges. Our investigative reporter, Olivia Rubin, is there outside the courthouse, uh, along with our chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl, our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, and legal contributor, former FBI agent, Asha Rangappa, all joining me for more. Uh, Olivia, let's start with the latest from court and what we're hearing now from Hunter Biden. Diane, the first reaction from Hunter Biden coming in moments ago saying he is more grateful for the support of his family than he is disappointed with the verdict. I want to read to you his brief statement verbatim. He said, I am more grateful today for the love and support I experienced this last week from Melissa, my family, my friends, and my community than I am disappointed by the outcome. Recovery is possible by the grace of God, and I am blessed to experience that gift one day at a time. And of course, Diane, he is hinting on in that statement something that we have discussed at length throughout this trial, which is, of course, the support that he had every day in the courtroom. Some of the most high profile members of the Biden family there in the front row right behind him to support him day in and day out, including the first lady, Jill Biden. At one point, you know, the supporters growing so large, I counted nearly 25 friends and family that were in the courtroom with him taking up nearly four rows. So he is hitting on something that was so apparent during, uh, you know, that that trial. And I do also want to read the very brief statement of his attorney, Abby Lowell, the first reaction we are getting from him as well. He says, we are naturally disappointed by today's verdict. We respect the jury process as we have done throughout this case. We will continue to vigorously pursue all the legal challenges available to Hunter through all he has been through in his recovery, including this trial hunter has felt grateful for and blessed by the love and support of his family so from there from abby lowell not saying an appeal outright but certainly hinting at it by mentioning they will pursue all legal avenues diane